Hello students, if you have appeared in the recent Karnataka set exam, then this video is for you. We are going to talk about how the Karnataka set results have been announced. So let's talk about the results of Karnataka set. First of all, I just want to tell you that if you have appeared in the Karnataka set, just go to the official website of Karnataka set and download your result. See whether you have appeared or, or whether you have uh, cleared the exam or not. So let's move ahead. And let's talk about let's analyze that what is the result you know when it has been released and how the process is going to be okay so first of all you will have to visit a particular website this website name is http .nic.in. so this is the website i'm highlighting the website if you appeared in the karnataka set just go to this website to find your result secondly I will tell you that the result has been announced on 28th of May. The result has been announced on 28th of May. So the notification says that there is a public notification of Karnataka State Eligibility Test 2023 provisional results. So the provisional results for Karnataka 2023 has been announced. And what does this say? It says that the Karnataka set exam which was conducted on 13th of February 2024 have announced the results and what is the result what is the analysis well let's talk about the analysis it also says that it has conducted the case 2023 for the assistant professor for the first time on 13 january 2024 right this is this is an important detail it has conducted the case 2023 for assistant professor for the first time on 13 january 2024 okay so this exam was conducted in the offline mode as you can see here the case 8 was conducted in offline mode for 41 subjects for 41 subject in a single phase so it was conducted in just one day in a single phase at seven centers across the state for 117303 candidates and only 95201 candidates appeared for both the papers so there was paper one and there was paper two and for both the papers 95,201 candidates appeared now let's talk about what has been the results well if you will go to the karnataka set website you will see that the result have been categorized into three or four categories one category is talk about the gender one category talk about the categories of uh, caste one category talk about you know uh, which kind of reservations have got the seats and then the subject wise the subject wise category is there so first we will talk about the main categories or the main things that we are, that we are going to talk about how many male female and transgenders have appeared in the exam and how many of them have qualified well first talk about the male 50262 males have registered the exam have, have registered for the exam and 41,088 appeared in the exam and qualified only 3398. That is 8.2%. That is 8.2% of the total people appeared. Okay. Now, now for female, we have 66,656. Appearance is uh, 53,892. 3180 have qualified that means that there is a percentage there is a, a qualification percentage of 5.9 in the females now let's talk about transgenders well there was 385 trans transgenders have appeared now 221 sorry registered 221 appeared and then 97 have qualified the exam which means that there is a uh, <coughs> success ratio of 43.89 okay so total as we have already seen in the front page 170,303, which means only appeared 95,201 and the qualified candidates are 6,675 so these are the number of qualified candidates who have qualified the Karnataka set in all exams or in all uh, subjects in all topics and in all gender categories so there is a success ratio of seven percent right 
we can say that there is a success ratio of 7%. Let us talk about the results in terms of uh, different subjects. How has been the result? Let us talk about it. Well, it says that the subject wise and category wise number of candidates were appeared in both the papers, paper 1 and paper 2 and secured 40%. Remember, this is the criteria. If you are from a general category, this is the criteria for you. If and if you have only secured 40% or more marks in aggregate in the unreserved and reserved categories. So, there, is a, there are two categories and reserved as well as reserved categories in general within. Okay. So, if you have secured 40% if you are from general category, then you have qualified the exam. So, this is the criteria for qualification. And then if you talk about the number of candidates who have appeared in both the exams and secured 35%. 45% is the criteria, 40% is the criteria for general category and 35% is the criteria for both the papers. And if you have appeared and have cleared 35% in both the papers, then for the reserved categories, you have qualified. Now, what contains the result, uh, reserved categories? Well, there is a general which comes in the unreserved as well as reserved categories. There is a different categories within and the general category of reservation, but there is SC, ST, Kate 1, 2A, 2B, 3A and 3B, which seems to be the reservation categories. Okay. So, these are the results according to their exams. Well, there is first commerce, Kannada, economics, right? And then we have English, political science, history, sociology, Hindi, management, tourism, education, library and information science and then there are many subjects as we have already seen in total if you will see here in total there is 41 subjects. So, let us see what is the result of all these subjects. Well, you can see the total results since this is a science channel I will talk about the main results of science. So, let us first talk about the, the result of physical science that is number 25. So, mainly from the general category 630 people have qualified ok, 220 people from SC and then SC, ST and then so on. So, SC, ST and so on ok. Ok. So, these are the number of people who have qualified or who, uh, who have got more than 40 percent in the general category and more than 35 percent in the SCST, SCST or reservation categories, right? So, these are the number of people in physics category. This is the number, right? The first one is general category, then there is SC, ST, and then Kate 1 and so on. Mathematical science, there is chemical science, there is love science. There is environmental science and there is computer science. So, this has been the result, right? This has been the result of Karnataka set and in the physics department, a lot of people have uh, qualified. Qualified means that you have crossed the 40 percent mark in the general category and 35 percent marks in the reservation categories. So, now if you have gotten this, then you have a great chance of getting ahead, you have a great opportunities of getting ahead once you clear set. The set, the Karnataka set has already said that this was the first time that they conducted test or they uh, conducted a qualification test for assistant professor. So, you have great opportunities if you have cleared this exam in any subject, from any subject you are, you have great opportunities in future, avail those opportunities, work for those opportunities and in future you might get to a good post. So, thank you very much. If you like this information, share this information with your friends which have appeared in the Karnataka set that will help them as well. So, thank you very much. We will see you in the next video.